Only on three tonight, one way to get the attention of an entire high school, suspend three dozen students on the same day. You don't have to talk with Trezevant High School's Dr. Joe Canada Long to discover he has little tolerance for tardiness or any other rule breaking for that matter. He's trying to turn around a school the state has labeled troubled. WREG On Your Side investigator April Thompson shows you the behind, behind his actions. The size of an athlete. Come on, tighten up, tighten up. And the background of an Army sergeant. Trezvent High School principal Dr. Joe Canada has a non traditional approach to getting students on track. Uh, I believe that all kids need structure, well, all people need structure, and this has helped them to be organized and structured, will help them in their studies and, and in their life. Joe Canada has been principal at Trezvent for all of five months, brought in to turn around the school's low performance scores and low graduation rates. The overall goal is to change the culture. He hit the ground running, targeting tardiness. I suspended roughly 35 students in one day. He said if students aren't in class, how can they learn? So he began hall sweeps. And after uh, uh, six or seven minutes, we do what we call hall sweep, whereby the teachers secure the doors. And students, if you cannot get to class on time or will not go to class, then you were suspended. And we did that all day long. Parents got upset. Suspended students got a shock. But just, him, he told us to walk home. home. The first taste of Dr. Canada. It was a drastic measure. Yes, it was suspending uh, a risky measure, but I felt one that had to be taken at that time to get control over the school and get the kids of the mindset that if I'm coming here, then I'm going to have to go to class. Dr. Canada says his crackdown is working. The kids now, they're coming around. Uh, uh, they thought it was harsh at first, but now they're responding to it. And they said, they said, yes, sir, doc, I'm on my way, I, I, I know. And they start adjusting their clothes and, uh, and getting the class on time. Joe Canada spent 20 years in the Army and was deputy superintendent in Tunica County Schools. He knew the challenges at Tresvant and was given a mentor to help out. Dr. John Malone, who previously headed up the school. With both our experience that we have had, that, you know, that we can, we can fix it. Basically, trying to change the culture uh, of, the, of the school. And, of course, it, you know, it starts from the top. A lot of our kids are, are misled as a, as a priority. And so we try, we and the staff and all those try to instill on this importance of education. And the goals Dr. Canada has for the school are carrying over to the students. He is bringing the school as in an orderly way. He's trying to be more organized. He's trying to keep them in class. He's, he's just, just he's from the military, so he's just trying to keep things in order. So. Dr. Canada has also revamped the PTA and has an administrator working with parents. I think it's an excellent job. I've seen the disciplinary level of the children uh, change drastically. Uh, the school has a better environment, and you can even feel it when you walk into place. We have to, uh, I believe that we have to change the culture of the school. It's a long process, and it's a, uh, we've been in education for a while. Understand it's not going to happen overnight or, or in one year. Dr. Canada also started an honors academy to recognize students and staff. He says the school will be removed from the troubled school list, and you'll see their graduation rate soar. April Thompson, WREG, On Your Side Investigators.